Easiest Countries to Move to Hey everyone, it's Alexa and welcome back to another video. We've all had that moment where we think, man, I just want to pack my bags and leave. But you, you know, generally get over it and you carry on with life. But if you are keen to shake things up, here are some options of countries that are relatively easy to get into. But always remember, things are not always greener on the other side. But today, let's pack our bags and leave our old lives behind. Before we get into today's video, make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Uruguay. It may not be the largest country you'll ever head to, but it will rival the healthcare system of many countries around the world, so that's one big plus for Uruguay. It's considered one of the cleanest countries in South America, and pollution is very low. People are friendly and accommodating, and it's ranked first for democracy, peace, quality of living, freedom of speech, lack of corruption, and security in Latin America. To get permanent residency, you would need to have lived in the country for five years. If you're married to an Uruguayan citizen, you need to have lived there for three years. Uruguay and the Guar Guarani language means river of the painted birds. Before moving here though, ensure you like cows, because cows outnumber people four to one. Belgium One of the tiniest and most beautiful places to head to in Europe is Belgium. Immigrating to this northern European country is simple. Trying to find work in a foreign country can be challenging, but in Belgium they're open to employing foreigners and, after two weeks of working, will consider giving you a residency permit. Mind you, you must have the skills thereafter. Being a professional procrastinator isn't going to cut it. Here's a good reason to head to Belgium. They produce 220,000 tons of chocolate a year, so maybe you could be a chocolate taster. Canada Canada thought they were going to get an influx of people after the presidential election in 2016, but they only received 66 more applications than their previous year. If those that threatened to move did move, the move would have been pretty straightforward. Canada welcomes foreigners, but you must prove your worth. You need to be intelligent. Don't worry, there are other countries coming up if this isn't for you. You must have studied in Canada, speak French, or have family there. If you pass all of these and can pay $390, you're all set to become a Canadian citizen. Billies. If you love the outdoors, warm weather and sandy beaches, Belize is a great option for you. It's affordable to live in this Central American country and property prices are low. You'll be spoiled with a reef that's second in size to the Great Barrier Reef and be able to spot 500 species of fish. Infrastructure is not great here, but what is a plus is that English is the official language. If you're over the age of 45, you can apply for the QRP, or Qualified Retirement Program. It's an extremely fast residency deal where you only need to prove you earn $2,000 a month and spend 30 days a year in the country to maintain the status. Bringing pets into the country is also relatively easy. The other way to get residency is applying for a visa, which will cost you $1,000 and you have to stay in the country for 50 consecutive weeks. You can enter on your tourist visa and keep renewing it every 30 days. Ecuador this is a great spot to head to for a romantic getaway or to live permanently. Ecuador is a lush, beautiful country that's affordable to live in. All you need to do to immigrate to this country is first, have a love for nature, and second, prove that you earn a minimum of $800 a month and have $100 for each of your dependents. This visa falls under the pensioner's visa, but they don't discriminate. Once you've received your pensioner's visa, you can apply for permanent residency. You're usually granted this after living in the country for 21 months. Some cool things about this country, Firstly, they're the first country to recognize the rights of nature. Nature is not treated as property, but grants it constitutional rights to exist, persist, maintain, and regenerate its vital cycles. Secondly, they're the largest exporters of bananas in the world. Austria if money is no object, then keep listening, because Austria may be easy to get into, but it's going to cost you a small fortune to live there permanently. Austria has 10 options when it comes to residency, and that bit won't cost you. If you're American or an EU citizen, you can get a D visa and stay in Austria for up to six months. That's ample time to secure a job or a husband and then apply for permanent residency. What is reassuring is that since the end of the world wars, Austria has sworn permanent neutrality. Mexico. You might be able to get into Mexico quite easily, but we're not guaranteeing you can get back into your own country as easily. You don't need to pack much, so if you're in a hurry for whatever reason, the clothes on your back are all you need. You can buy a tourist card for a few dollars and stay for six months and then renew it for $21 each time. Just note, you can't work on this visa. You can apply for residency, but you need to do that in your own country, and even then, it's pretty simple. Remember that you will be sharing living space with around 120 million people, as Mexico is the 11th most populated country in the world. Colombia 
coffee addicts head to Colombia because, among other things, Colombia is known for its coffee. This unspoiled country has everything you'll ever desire, from beaches to mountains, grasslands to rainforests, and the cost of living is low. Colombia is not as dangerous as it used to be, and if you're staying away from the known dodgy areas, you should be fine. Culturally, you couldn't ask for a richer experience, with museums, ancient churches, and archaeological parks being abundant. The Colombian people are very friendly and welcoming, and they're keen for foreign investment. If you're retired, you need to prove you have a monthly income of $629, which is doable. If this is your plan, start brushing up on your Spanish so by the time you've retired in Colombia, you'll be speaking like the locals. Argentina Okay, before you start belting out, don't cry for me, Argentina, start ensuring your passport and visas are all in order because this is a great place to call home. It's a large country with lots of space and a population density of only 15 people per square kilometer. You need to earn $850 a month to live here permanently. To become a permanent resident of Argentina, you will have had to live in the country for two years and then submit the appropriate paperwork and then sit back and wait for them to say yay or nay. If you love your red meat, you'll fit in nicely here. Argentina has the highest consumption of red meat in the world. Nicaragua we suggest practicing the pronunciation of this country a few times before trying to live there. During the 80s, this country, located between the Pacific Ocean and the Caribbean Sea, was a place of leftist coups and civil wars. You wouldn't say that now, looking at how beautiful it is today. There's an amazing retirement program that gains you entry if you can prove you've got $600 a month coming into your bank account. What's great about Nicaragua is that you can still work to supplement your income. The law says you can't, but then they have a broad variety of things they don't class as work, like open a restaurant, or a hotel, or working online. So you could potentially earn a good income and live a decent life if you can turn a blind eye to the political unrest that still lingers. Dominican Republic the Dominican Republic seems to tick all the right boxes when it comes to a place to move to. Warm temperatures, beautiful beaches, and gorgeous mountains. It's the second largest Caribbean nation and is part of an island shared with Haiti. The Dominican Republic is different from other places in the Caribbean because of its heavy Spanish influence. Shortly after Christopher Columbus arrived in 1492, the Spanish arrived, which is why you see so much Spanish architecture in places like Santo Domingo. It's relatively cheap to live here and infrastructure is developing constantly. If you could budget $2,000 a month, you'd live like the elite. If you can prove you earn enough to live there, it will only be a few months before you can obtain permanent residency, but you will need to have lived there on a temporary residence permit for five years first. Easy enough, because you won't want to leave after your initial visit. Brazil there is so much on offer in Brazil that will leave you wanting to come back for more. You have rainforests and golden beaches to choose from, sightseeing that will take you years to get through, and food that is totally rich in flavor. Sadly, you must be retired in order to get into Brazil with ease, oh, and an income of $2,000 a month. You also need to have an additional $1,000 for each dependent you bring with you. There are always other ways to get into any country, like marrying a national or having a child with a national, but hopefully the feelings are genuine because these things have a way of getting out. Brazil is home to the world's best beach, according to TripAdvisor. The beach is Baia do Sancho, located in the archipelago of Fernando de Noronha. Panama this is one of the easiest options if you're ready to make a big move. Panama is an independent part of Central America, and if you've been to Florida, it's got a really similar vibe. It's a safe place to live, English is spoken by most of the residents, and it's well-developed. Currency is the US dollar, and you need 1,000 of them each month to stay here forever. This is part of the retirement visa, and with that, you also get discounts on loads of stuff. There's a residency for younger people as well, but you'll need to deposit $5,000 into a Panamanian bank. If you come for what they class as friendly countries, you can get the Friendly Nations visa. Find a job or open a business and you're all set for permanent residency. Svalbard Buy some warm gear and apply for permanent residency in Svalbard, a large collection of islands north of Norway. There are so many different cultures that reside here, from South Africa to Japan and everyone in between. Although part of Norway, Svalbard governs itself. The climate is inhospitable, to put it mildly, and it's a hard-to-reach destination. But if you like to be by yourself, then you're only sharing the entire Svalbard with 2,600 other people. You don't need to worry about a visa or a permit to live there. All you need to do is prove that you can afford to live there, as it is rather expensive. It's illegal to be unemployed or homeless on this archipelago. Polar bear attacks are also a thing there, so maybe invest in some mace. Ireland 
In 2017, 33,000 U.S. residents made the move to Ireland. Maybe you have the luck of the Irish or have Irish heritage, then this would be a relatively pain-free move for you. It could be a parent, grandparent, or even a great-grandparent. If that's not an option, you could reside in Ireland for 12 consecutive months and become a naturalized citizen. Ensure you have developed a taste for Guinness beer before heading to this beautiful country and perhaps you'll find the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. If you could move to any of these countries, which would you choose and why? Let us know in the comments below. 1. Israel Israel has an unusual rule known as Israel's Law of Return, which allows any Jewish person the right to return to Israel. If your parents were born here, you can also apply for citizenship. Naturalization is also an option if you've lived in the country for three or more years.